Good morning, everyone. Twelfth class and uh, chapter five, second last topic. BST chapter five and today's topic is delegation. Delegation. So, as we can see, that a manager has to perform many tasks. He has to do many tasks. He has to handle all the core activities as well as the non-core activities. So sometimes it becomes very difficult for him to handle all the tasks with proper efficiency. So sometimes he may feel overburdened because he has to look for each and every activity. So he may feel overburdened, and just because of this overburden. he may give lesser importance to the core activities which are the more important activities so to reduce his workload what he can do he can share his some of his work with his subordinate he can allow his best of the subordinates to do his work on his behalf clear yeah? so when any work beyond the capacity of any person whether it is the manager or the supervisor or any other person so then he must share his non core activity to the subordinates non core activities to the subordinates for the successful implementation of the task core activities like for example if a manager is looking for all the things like granting of the leaves granting of leaves putting the attendance putting the attendance on regular basis as well as taking important decisions of his department of his department so we can say that taking important decision in relation to his department is is core activity which is the most important work for him and granting of leave to the employees and putting the attendance are the non core activities so what is the basic difference between the core and non core activities core activities are those activities which are important and which will be requiring a special skills which may not be performed by the employees and non core activities are those activities full kit on your camera otherwise i will remove it so non core activities are those activities which are can be performed which can be performed by any of the employee means which do not require special skill special knowledge so if manager is not able to find the time for doing the core activity as he is very much busy in the non core activities then he will not be making justice with the core activities so what he can do so that he can focus on the core activities as well as uh, the non core activities will be done by some other person so in this case he may share his non core activities with any of his subordinate upon whom he is having trust as well as to whom he is thinking that that particular person is capable of doing that particular task of mine so he can share his non core activities with the subordinate so that he is having ample of time for the core activities and this whole process is known as delegation so delegation is write down the definition of the delegation so delegation refers to the downward transfer of the authority from a superior to the subordinate so the diagram you can make like this this is the superior and this is the subordinate and he is granting some of his authority granting authority okay granting authority to complete the given task along with the responsibility whenever we are giving authority to someone it means along with the authority we are also giving him the responsibility so that that particular person is able to complete the given task 
to granting authority and entrusting responsibility entrusting responsibility so first of all responsibility is entrusted by the superior to the subordinate and then to complete that responsibility authority is granted so that the person is able to complete the given task and the accountability is created these three terms you are uh, going to use for the definition of for the definition of delegation accountability so responsibility is entrusted is transferred authority is granted you must be using the word grant of authority and entrustment of responsibility then accountability is created okay so in the definition of delegation these three important keywords must be there so it is a process of delegation is a process of entrustment of the responsibility and granting of authority and creation of accountability creation of accountability for the performance for the performance so you can see then when a superior will be granting authority so the flow is always downward so it flows downward authority always flows downward from superior to subordinate so this whole process is known as delegation of authority means you are sharing your task with one of your subordinate so that your workload can be reduced and you can focus more on the core activities so this is all about delegation so the these three are the elements of delegation the three important keywords which i told you authority responsibility and accountability authority now you must know the meaning of all these three and the nature of all these three what is authority authority is the right to give command you can write down the one marker meaning of authority or you can underline in your book authority is the right or power to take decision to to give command so authority always flows downwards it means you can get the authority only from your superior only from your superior so it always flows downwards so authority means it refers to the right to take decision power to give orders and it always flows from upward to downward and moreover wait a minute so authority flows downward downward and how it originates it originates with the position of a person so authority is always with the position not of a person suppose any minister who is working at a position so all the authorities related to that position are the authorities of that particular position not the authority of that particular minister suppose in our school one principal is working at the principal post so all the authorities which the principal is having that authorities are basically related to his position not of the person if the principal is changed then the authority will be transferred to that particular person only so authority is always of the position so it always originates with the position next the person who is working at the top level will be having the more authority middle level person will be having the lesser authority and the persons who are working at the lower level will be having the least authority so it all these all are the features of the authority so we can say that the authority is the right or the power second is the responsibility so what is the responsibility responsibility means obligation when we are talking about the authority authority is the power or right and responsibility is the obligation obligation of what obligation of completing the given task on time so responsibility is a obligation of completing the task on time so authority and responsibility always go hand in hand so if we are assigning authority to a person it means we must have to 
इंटरेस्ट इन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑल्सो क्लियर सो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑरिजिनेट फ्रॉम द सुपीरियर सबॉर्डिनेट रिलेशनशिप सुपीरियर सबॉर्डिनेट रिलेशनशिप और वी कैन से इट ऑरिजिनेट विद अथॉरिटी इफ यू आर हैविंग अथॉरिटी देन यू मस्ट बी हैविंग द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फ्लोज अपवर्ड Responsibility flows upward as every subordinate is responsible to his superior. So that's why responsibility flows upward because whatever the task is given to perform that task, the subordinate is responsible towards his superior. So its flow is upward, and the authority can be transferred, but responsibility. cannot be transferred entirely if i am assigning my one of task to any of you so after assigning the task i will be also responsible so we can say that authority authority can be transferred completely but responsibility cannot be transferred completely if a superior has given some of his task to the subordinate then ultimately he will be also responsible for performing that particular task here third portion is the third element is the accountability so what do you mean by accountability accountability means answerability accountability means answerability so you are answerable to your superior that after completing the given task you need to give your report to your superior whether you have completed the task or not what problems you have faced and how you will be performing that particular task so you are answerable to your superior so authority is a right or power uh, uh, responsibility is the obligation and accountability is the answerability to carry out the responsibility so whenever we have granted some authority it means we are also having some responsibility and the subordinate is also accountable means answerable to carry on that particular responsibility for the final outcome so we can say that authority can be delegated delegation third point side by side i am telling you the points of difference authority can be delegated yes can be delegated entirely it's up to you that up to what extent the superior want to delegate the authority and responsibility cannot be delegated completely cannot be delegated completely because you will be ultimately responsible or we can say the superior will be ultimately responsible then accountability can't be delegated at all bond can't be delegated at all means you cannot delegate the accountability if manager if a uh, manager a has granted some authority like a is the production manager and he needs to check the quality of the product a is the production manager so he was overburdened so to reduce his sum of the burden quality checking inspection work he has given to one of his subordinate who is b so actually that was the task of a but he has shared his task with b so according to that he need to give the authority to b also and after completing the task b is answerable to a but suppose while doing the uh, inspection of the goods b skipped some of the defective goods and they were in the market and in that case a cannot saved by saying that i had shared my this task to b so ultimately the accountability will be of a if b is not completing the task with proper precautions with the utmost care so in that case a will be accountable not the b no doubt a will be asking from b that why he has not done the task but a is also answerable to the board of directors or to the uh, his superior clear a will be also responsible or accountable so a cannot say like this i am not responsible i am not accountable as i have done this task to b 
okay so ultimately it was the task of a and if b is giving this task to b it means he has just given the task not the accountability so ultimately a will be accountable for the non fulfillment of the task so these three are the elements of delegation authority responsibility and accountability and out of these three the very important one marker question can be there in the form of uh, difference like authority is the right responsibility is the obligation accountability is the answerability authority can be delegated responsibility cannot be delegated entirely accountability cannot be delegated at all not even a 1% of that accountability you can delegate it flows downward authority flows downward responsibility flows upward and accountability also flows upward because the subordinate is responsible towards the superior for submitting the reports clear so authority is the right of an individual to command his subordinates and to take action within the scope of his position if you are having authority within that authority you are free to take any decision responsibility means obligation then accountability means answerability for the final outcome answerability means you are responsible to give the reports whether you have completed the task or not this is the difference chart in between the authority responsibility and accountability right to command obligation to perform an assigned task answerability can be delegated can't be entirely delegated cannot be delegated at all origin it arises from the uh, formal position all those persons who will be at the formal position they will be giving the authority to others arises from the authority arises from the responsibility flow downward upward upward clear so this is all about the topic uh, delegation and it has three important elements what three important elements accountability authority and responsibility i hope the topic is clear